the messages page in load call is pretty straightforward to use, but we'll go over some of the uh, important features in here. And it's also important to note that there are two messaging pages. One is the uh, dispatch messages, which are used primarily by dispatch to communicate about operational matters. And that one will be found here in the messages tab underneath dispatch. But if I go underneath compliance, there is another messages page that is pretty much the same. However, this one is used for onboarding and compliance. So as you are working with drivers who are going through the training process, it's a separate message that's not tied into dispatch. So the dispatchers don't have to worry about it and that it's all kind of compliance based in here. You'll notice in here, it looks pretty much the same though. The one big thing here is that it's every, the only messaging in here is all individual drivers. Whereas if we go back into the dispatch messaging system, you'll notice there's a few other options right here that we'll go over. But uh, working down the side here, there is a search bar. So if you want to start searching for a individual group, you could start typing in a name here. So if I search for Doug, it'll shrink down the list. If I search instead for something like Bravo, you'll see that we get the uh, region, but also the drivers who are assigned into that specific region. So uh, interesting way to go about that. The next thing down here is group messages. By default, there is always the all drivers message. If you click on this, this lets you send a message to every driver that's driving for you. If you want to create a new custom group, you can click plus and add a driver. So if I wanted to create a group message with um, Brendan, for example, and you can see I've messaged him in the past, and Douglas, then we can go ahead and create a group message and go ahead and click and send a message right there. So after I've created a group, you'll notice it shows up here on the left and uh, it takes a second to send sometimes with these new groups. And in here, if we jump back into this message, you'll see that we have this group message with Brendan and Douglas. Some options with group messages, you can go ahead and edit it to have a group name. You can add or remove people from the group. You can change the group name back. So if I edited it to say, test group then that'll change the name up here but if I wanted to reset it just to be the name of the people in the group I can always reset it back to the original group name which will just be their names right here so the other thing up in this menu is the ability to mark this message as unread so if I click on that you'll notice that it gets this little icon right here the uh, little bell to notice there's an alert so that you know that it's an unread message. If I click onto it, it'll obviously mark it as read. You don't have to go up here to do that. You could always also just click on this little bell icon silhouette next to the group message to mark something as unread as well. So the next section down here are the region messages. These are automatically created groups for each of your dispatch regions. So drivers that are assigned to this region will receive messages for uh, these groups right here. And they obviously have only the mark is unread. We don't allow you to delete this message um, as well. And when you mark is unread, it only does it for dispatch. You won't mark it as unread for the drivers. They uh, are separate on that. So this is just, for example, if someone's going off shift, shift and there was an important uh, message that you wanted to have the next person coming on read, you could have the mark it as unread so that it'll be in the system for them. Uh, the next section right here is job messages. So these messages are those that are tied to a uh, specific load. So these are group messages that are very short lived, just the length of a specific load, but it ties um, purchasers, on site staff, drivers, dispatchers all into groups. So if they need to kind of talk about some specific issue, then they can, in context of that load, then they can do so. But uh, these obviously will only show up if there is content here. And I've covered this in a dispatch video, so you can go watch that on the dispatch boards page to learn more about the job messaging in the jobs window. And then the last section down here are the individual driver message threads. Uh, like the other ones that aren't custom groups, you just have the ability to mark as unread. And if you do so, they will automatically float to the top. So all the unread messages will be at the top. And then after that, it will be found alph alphabetically. So pretty straightforward to use this. The only other thing to note is that there is the option to click this pop-up option down here at the bottom. And all that this does is makes it so that if you send a message with pop-up clicked, then it's going to, um, we'll go ahead in here. It's gonna act the exact same on your end. However, on the driver's end, 
when the pop-up is checked and it's sent, it's going to be a little bit more obtrusive so that they see it. It'll actually pop up on the screen for them as opposed to just kind of doing the, the banner notification that kind of goes away after a couple of seconds. So something useful if there's something urgent is to use the pop-up, but you probably don't want to use it all the time. So uh, yeah, with that, that is uh, dispatch and onboarding messages in a nutshell.